Hello, 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 hello. Good morning. I'm saying good morning. Bonsoir, bonsoir, bonsoir. Comment y est? Hello, guys. Today is Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. Today is November the 11th, 2019. My name is Myrdalyn Raymond. So for today, we're going to be correcting the verbs, okay? So pour soir, nous pouvons corriger verb you, all right? Now, I wrote some sentences on the board. What we're going to do, we're going to correct the verbs that are written wrong, all right? So if you guys can please share the live, invite a friend, invite a family member. I'm going to give you guys a minute, and I will be right back. Ok, so we are back. Ok, so je dis à nous pour faire correction ensemble avec verbio. S'il vous plaît, nous même qui gagne livre blanc yo, nous qu'a ouvri livre blanc dans page 48. Ok, turn your book, your white books, on page 48, section 13.10. For those of you guys that have the white books, please turn it to page 48. Section 13.10. Pour mon qui gagne l'idée blanc, yo, virez la page 48, section 18, section 13.10. Soit, soit, nous allons faire correction ensemble avec verbi, ok? Now, if you guys look right here, correcting the verbs, ok? The word correcting will be corrigé, all right? Number one, he finished work at 5 p.m., okay? He finished, qui will be fini, work, travail, at, a, 5 p.m., okay? Now, mind you, I told you guys before, where most of you say at plan, ou utiliser mot ça lorsqu'on l'a exactement. But when you don't know the time exactly, you don't use the word at. Okay? Now, for example, if you're going somewhere, if you have a meeting that you have to go to, okay? If you're not sure the time, you don't say at. You say around. Qui veut dire vers. Okay? Vers en quatre heures. Ok, l'on dit mon nom vers mon 4 heures, ça va dire que c'est 4 heures exactement, ok? Mais l'on le a exactement ou dit at, qui veut dire à, at 5 p.m., à 5 heures, at 6 p.m., à 6 heures, at 7 p.m., à 7 heures. Mais si vous connaissez que rendez-vous c'est la zone 4 heures et demi, l'ika 4 heures 20, pas qu'on le exactement ou dit around, around 4 o'clock. 4.30-ish. Ok? Now, il y a un peu de monde qui remet you ça. 4.30-ish. Ça veut dire vers un 4 ou combien yo? Il y a 4 ou 30, 4 ou 35. Ok? But, ou pas qu'on l'a exactement. Ok? Now, in this case, since we know the time, nous écrit 5 p.m. Ok? Now, if you look right here, si vous avez premier fois ça, ou déjà ouais, ok? N'a pas dit l'ensemble avec un verbe qui est simple. Ok? Mind you. He. Nous use he pour yon garçon. Nous pas ka di he finish. Ok? The reason why we can't say he finish parce que troisième personne singulier yon dou ou supposé ajouter yon s 
non verbe ok? Now, if you are reading this phrase right here, he finished work at 5 p.m. Ou déjà ou elle sound funny? Ou déjà ou elle dit un bagay qui manque la donne, ok? Now, in order to correct this, we're gonna write he finishes, ok? E-S. I mentioned to you guys before, ok? Le ou gagne um, gen kek mo ki fini pa X, ki fini pa SH, ki fini pa um, CH, ok? Pou ou pa ka just mette S de yo kon sa. Ou si pose mette E an apre S pou fel komple. Alright? Now, s'il pa gen, s'il pa gen X la den, s'il pa gen um, CH la den, s'il pa gen SH la den, nou tap just meton S et pi dat se. Ok? Now, ou pa ka mette finish kon sa. Ok? Although verb lan di kon sa ke, pou mette yon S nan verb lan, but you cannot put an S like that. That's, that's wrong. Ok? That's wrong. In order for you to make it right, you have to add ES. Ok? Finishes. All right? Now, another example. If you have a word like this, right? B-O-X or F-O-X. Ok? Yo mando pou mette yon S de el yo ou si pou se mette E-S. Ok? E-S. All right? So, the correct answer is finishes. Ou pa ka di he finish. Ok? Third person singular. You have to add an S on the verb. So you're going to say, he finishes, he bled di li fini, work at 5 p.m. Okay? Now, pou nou menm ki fe kap komanse, ou ka di nou konsake wel mwen di lin, sou met e es la, ou vin fel pluriel. No, that have nothing to do with plural. Okay? Now, sa fe mwen met e es la la den, se paske, ve blan di konsake, ou si pou se met es la den nan fe mwa. Men, le plus souvent, mwen ki fini pa SH le yo, mwen ki fini pa CH, mwen ki fini pa X, gen lo toujou, le pou ajoute S la de yo, ou si pose meton E, anvan S la. Alright? He finishes work at 5 p.m. Ki vle di ke, li fini travay a 5 heure, ok? Now, we're gonna go over them together, ok? Ok? Now we're going to do number two. I did number one with you guys, and I want you guys to write down number two, and then write what you think is the correct answer, okay? Okay, you're going to write number two. And then you're going to write what you think is the correct answer. What mette numero 2, and then so pense ki vre reponse yo, what mette yo, ok? I get up at 7.30 a.m., ok? Now, if you think this is correct, leave it as if, ok? So pense li correct ki tel jan li e. But if you think it's wrong, ok, write it the correct way. All right? I get up at 7.30 a.m. Ki vle di mwen leve a 7h30 du mate, okay? If you think it's right, leave it as is. If you think it's not right, okay, write down the correct answer. I get up at 7.30 a.m. Si ou pense li bon jan mekri lan, ki tel jan gye ya. Men sou pense ke I'm supposed to correction la done. Write down the correct answer, okay? Put number two and then the correct answer. I get up at 7.30 a.m. Is that correct or not correct? Very good. So now, those of you that wrote I get up, okay, it's right. This one right here, it's not right. Ou pa ka di I get up. Ou deja wè goun baga ki funny la dan, okay? Let me explain something to you guys, right? Before I wrote I get up at 7.30 a.m., mem si ou pa kompren angle ya, okay? Le wap li pwemye jam te ekri la vek lo wap li dezyem jam, 
deux bagages différents. Ou en anglais, d'où qui ça qui bon? Le wap di on mo, mo a pas bon, ou senti l'an ou lula den. Ok? If you are trying to read something, or if you are trying to say something, you feel like your tongue is heavy, therefore, don't continue, it's wrong. Mais si le wap ese li bagay la, ou bien le wap ese écrit fwaz la, ou eke ou li très bien, ça vle di ke li normal. Ok? Now, en van, I get up at 7.30, ou te deja wè l'an ou an jan lula. Right here, I get up. Ok? Parce que verb la ba do I get. Li do I get. You get. He gets. She gets. It gets. Ok? I get up. Ki vle di mwen leve. At a 7.30 a.m. 7h30 du matin. Next one. Lucia wake up at 7 a.m. Lucia, wake up at 7 a.m. Qui vle dou? Lucia levé à 7 h du matin. Ok? Remember, guys, couple weeks ago, we did this verb. Ok? I wake, you wake, he wakes, she wakes, it wakes, you wake, we wake, they wake. Ok? Qui vle dou? Levé. Lucia, wake up at 7 a.m. A.M. Is this correct? Or should I make a correction? So I want you to write down number three. And then the correct answer. Lucia, wake up at 7 a.m. Is that correct? Lucia, wake up at 7 a.m. Very good. Now, this is wrong. Again, Lucia is a female. So therefore, ou supposé ajouté yon S nan verb lan, ok? Lucia wakes up, ok? Now, ou te deja wè wake up la pa bon. Listen to it. Lucia wake up. Wake up. Ok? Lucia wakes up. Wakes up. That sound much better. Ok? Lucia wakes up at 7 a.m. Third person singular, so therefore you have to add an S to make the verb complete, all right? Lucia wakes up at 7 a.m. Qui vle di? Lucia levé à 7 h du matin. Number four. Ethan go to work at 5 a.m. Ethan go to work at 5 a.m. Qui vle di? Iten al travail a 5 heures du matin. Okay, now, is this correct or should I make a correction? Iten go to work at 5 a.m. Est-ce que ça a bon ou bien est-ce que c'est pour me faire une correction là? Iten al travail a 5 heures du matin. Iten go to work at 5 a.m. So, moi pa vle wè aucun moun écrit iten going to work, OK? Now. Ou déjà wè pa bon, OK? Ou pa ka mete like, OK, take your time, read the um read the sentence correctly, OK? Pran san nou, m pa vle aucun moun al mete verb la nan ing form for me, OK? Ou déjà wè pa bon. Now, if you look at number 4 carefully, right? Iten Go to work at 5 a.m. Is that correct? No. So, Fabiola, Lovensen, Dadu, okay? Those of you guys and some of the people on YouTube that wrote goes, goes is the correct answer again, okay? You add an E and an S, all right? Ethan goes, troisième personne, okay? Ethan goes to work at 5 a.m. Ou pa ka di Ethan go to work at 5 a.m., okay? 
you need to add an S on the verb, okay? Again, on connaît le verbe là, dit qui ça? I go. Moi aller. You go. Où aller? He goes. Li aller. Mais he yon, c'est pour garçon. She goes. Li aller. C'est pour fille. Là, on dit she. She, c'est pour yon féminin. Ok? It goes. It goes là, c'est pour chose. Li aller. Like, for example, et bah, vrai? Now, si vous avez un projet qui vous travaille sur le projet, ou vous avez un cas où vous avez acheté, ok? Ou bien que vous avez un cas où vous avez bâti en Haïti. Moi, je dis, so, Junior, how is it going? Qui vous dit que, comment ça marche? Il m'a même après pour nous dire, it's going, ok? It's not, ok? C'est pour quelque chose, c'est pour Kaila, ok? It goes. I go, you go, he goes. She goes, it goes, you go, we go, we an se pou ou mem avem, and they go. They go an se pou yo ki pluriel. Ok? Ethan goes to work at 5 a.m. Ki vle di Ethan al travay a 5 a du matin. Number 5. You leaves work at 5 p.m. Ok? The word leaves vle di ale. Ok? You leaves work at 5 p.m. Is this correct? Or should I make a correction? You leaves work at 5 p.m. Si nou men mwen pren not, paso ke se different verb ma fe ansom ave nou. You guys may not notice that. I'm going through different verbs with you guys. So take notes. Ok? You leaves work at 5 p.m. Is this correct or is it incorrect? Okay, incorrect. Si mbaga ki pa. Correct, reject. Reject. You leaves work at 5 p.m. Very good. So the correct answer, all right, is you leave. Okay, ou pa di you leaves. All right? You leave work. Ki vle di ou kite travay a 5 heures. Okay? So we're gonna get rid of the S. Okay? Na pwe tire S na. All right? So you leave work. Okay? Ou make it simple. Okay? E la, we guys. Le ou du kon sa ke present simple. Many. Me present simple ap gado la. Okay? I leave you leave, he leaves, she leaves, it leaves, okay? You leaves, we leaves, and they leaves, okay? Now, mwen pa vle nou get confused. Parce que nan pronunciation yo, ou emo sa, ou pa di live. So pronounce ou di live ou mal sonen, okay? Remember, I told you guys before, when you have an E and an A together, it gives you a hard E sound. E sa fonse. So therefore, wap di live. Wap di leaves. Okay? Leave. Okay? Ki vle di ale. Me, si wap pronounce l ou di live. Okay? Live sa, sa vle di ke a viv. Okay? I live. Okay? Mwen viv. But this is leave. Okay? Now, look at this one, guys. Okay? See this word? You pronounce this word two ways. Gen deux jou pronounce mo sa. Either you say live ou bien live. Ok? Gen deux jou. There are two ways you can pronounce this word. Ok? It's either you say live, ki vle di vive, ou bien live. Ok? Right now, I'm live. Ok? Now, this one right here, this is not live. This is leave, okay? Ou sonne sou e a. That is why, gen kek bagay len ap di, moun pa ka tande nou, moun pa ka kompren nou, parce que nou mal pronounce mo yo, okay? Now, if someone asks you, where do you live? Okay? Ki vle di ke kotorete. Ou men mwa prepon, 
I live. Ok? Qui vle dit que moi rete. Ok? Now, did Amy leave? Est-ce que Amy t'allait? Yes! Amy t'allait. This is leave, this is live or live. L, iv, or l, iv. Live, live. Leave. Okay, ou sonne sous ça, all right? Okay, let's continue, guys. So, number six. Shana, watch TV in the evening. Shana, watch. The word watch means pour garder, okay? Shana, watch TV in the evening, okay? Shana, garder télévision le soir, okay? Shana watch TV in the evening, okay? Now, guys, m'pa vle nou confuse evening avec afternoon. Evening pa afternoon, okay? Now, de pou el fe 5h, 6h, 7h, 8h, ou pa kap di moun nan good afternoon. Moun nou nan vle di midi, okay? After vle di apre. So, when you tell someone afternoon, sa vle di apre midi. Men sou nan 5h, 6h, 7h, ou pa nan afternoon. Ou pa kap di moun good afternoon a le sa yo. Wap di yo good evening. Ok? Now, lor ive 8h, 9h, 10h, ou pa nan good evening anko, ou nan night time. Ok? Now, from midnight until noon time, ou di good morning. Ok? De minuit, jiska midi, ou di bonjou. Ok? An anglo di good morning. Ok? De midi, jiska 4 heures ou dit good afternoon, qui veut dire bon après-midi. Mais de pour nous 5 heures, on parle de good afternoon encore, ok? Sunset, qui veut dire soleil a couché. That's how you. Et qu'on soit qu'à dire le yo bien. Soleil a couché, on parle de good afternoon encore. Ou non, good evening. Ok? Qu'on y a, il fait 8h, 9h, 10h, on parle de evening encore. Ou non, night time. Ok? L'opra le dormi le soir, ok? Ou dit mon good night. Ou pas dit good afternoon, ou dit good night. Parce que c'est nos soirs horrier. When you leave in your work, okay? For those of you guys that work 3 to 11, all right? When you leave in work at 11 o'clock, you don't tell your co-worker, oh, good evening. No, you tell everyone, good night, everyone. Ça veut dire bonne nuit tout le monde. Tout le monde dit bonne nuit, okay? So, l'elle fait 8 heures, elle ne veut pas dire good evening. Elle pas good evening. Quand elle est night time, elle dit good night, good night. All right? Shana, watch TV in the evening. So the correct answer is excellent. Watches, okay? Shana, say on filier. Troisième personne. Remember what I told you guys earlier. When you have an, a word that ends with X, okay? It ends with O. It ends with C-H or S-H, okay? Pour completely ou faire E-S, okay? So Shana, watches, okay? Ma fait E-S là pour nous. Comme bien écrit pour nous, pour les ma point pour nous. Shana watches TV in the evening, ok? Shana watches TV in the evening, ok? Qui veut dire que Shana garde télévision. That's what watches mean, ok? Na, ouè mon sa, mon sa vle ou ka dil de jan. Le on moun du watch, watch vle di gade. Men watch sa vle di mont. Mont ou kon mette nan pon et ouan, yore le watch, ok? Now, gen pil mou angle, ki vle di diferan bagay. Se fraz la ki pral du de ki sa ya pali. Ok? Now, si moun du kon sa ke, look at your watch, tell me the time. Sa vle di ke mwen du gade nan mont ou, di mwen le ya, ok? But in this case, ok, this phrase, have nothing to do with watch. Okay? Mot sa pa yo kin rapport de an mot nan pon et ou an. Okay? Watch sa vle di gade. Shana watches TV. Okay? In the evening. Number seven. Midlin teach English online. Okay? Midlin teach English online. Qui vle di, Mildeline enseigne anglais 
OK? Souline, online, OK? Pas dit in line. All right? Mon qui toujours a dit comme ça, oh, I'm in Facebook right now. You're not in Facebook. You're on Facebook. OK? Si vous n'avez pas entré en dans l'ordinateur, you are on. You're not in. You're on YouTube. You're not in YouTube. OK, guys? Nerdelin, teach English online. Is this correct? Or is it incorrect? Nerdelin, teach English online. Nous connais ma dit ensemble avec un pile monde qui smart man. Excellent. Vague V Yayan. You guys very good. So it's Mirdalen teaches, okay? Again, ends with CH English online, okay? Qui veut dire Mirdalen enseigner anglais online. Okay, guys. Look at this phrase carefully. Nous gardons fois phrases, ça, il va vrai? Ou est-ce que ça? L'idou teaches, qui veut dire montrer. That is why sometimes, when some of you guys are writing me, you guys write, um, hi, teach, moi, dou, ou pas qu'à dire teach. Teach, non, c'est un verb lié. Ok? Et ça fait m'dou pour dire teacher. Ok? There is a big difference, Lord the teach, teach enseigner, and Lord the teacher. Okay? What is the job of a teacher? A, the job of a teacher is to teach. So therefore, Ubaka di good morning teach. Okay? They will di good morning teach. Sable di ke bonjour enseigner ou di la. Which you know it's incorrect. Okay? What di good morning teacher? Okay? The teacher teaches, okay, English. Online, ok? On met exemple si nous pas de vrai use non. Mais après nous t'es qu'à dire qu'on sait que the teacher, which is Mirdalen, teaches English online, ok? Qui veut dire que professeur enseigne anglais sous ligne, ok? Number eight, Tartu likes run. In the rain, okay. Tartu, that's a female name. Tartu likes run in the rain, okay. Qui veut dire Tartu remet courir dans la pluie, okay. Now, is it correct or is it incorrect? I'm gonna see who's gonna get this correctly. Moi pas le qui est cap met ça correctly, okay. Tartu likes run in the rain. Jean Adu, very good. So, pour moun ki di sa correct la, that's not correct, ok? Tartu likes running, ok? Continuing, ok? So, you have to put N-I-N-G. Tartu likes running in the rain. Ou pa ka di Tartu likes run in the rain. Ou deja wè pa bon. Ou deja wè bon baga ki, ki fè lang ou lou la dan. Like this. Tartu likes running in the rain. Okay? Now, sell your run not take a bon guys. Okay? Se si mte meton tu la. Okay? Si mte meton tu la, mte ka kite run na pou kwa. Mte ka di Tartu likes to run in the rain. But, if you are reading this, ou pa wè tu an, which is T-O, therefore, ou deja kone ke verb la automatically la fini with I-N-G. No question asked. Parce que vous ne pouvez pas faire la pour dire comme ça que Tatu likes running the rain. Ok? It's improper. Either you're going to read it like this, Tatu likes to run in the rain, or 
Tartu likes running in the rain. C'est bien, je sais où qu'on dit, OK? Number nine. Let me put this down so you guys can see. Megan have been to Paris twice. Megan have been to Paris twice. Qui v'le dit? Megan vin à Paris deux fois. Megan have been to Paris twice. Okay? Is this sentence correct? Or should I make a correction? Megan have been to Paris twice. See this word twice, guys? Twice v'le dit deux fois. Two times, okay? Twice. Deux fois. Et ça m'a ça v'le dit. Megan have been to Paris twice. Megan rejected. Megan have been to Paris twice. Ma poète, si n'a bien correctly. Megan has been to Egypt. Megan has been to Paris twice. Okay, guys, excellent. Malika, Rose, Katia. It's not have, okay? Again, Megan is a female, okay? Si c'est troisième personne, on va pas dire have. C'est has pour dire, okay? Megan has been to Paris twice. If I have, okay? Again, say, I have been, you have been, he has been, she, Megan, has been, it has been, you have been, we, you and I, have been, and they, qui veut dire yo, have been, okay? So the correct answer is, Megan has been to Paris twice. Qui veut dire que Megan vient à Paris deux fois déjà, okay? Or, if you didn't want to use Megan's name, you could have said, she has been to Paris twice, okay? Verb you not fait toujours. Number 10, all right? You was at my grandfather's funeral. You was at my grandfather's funeral. Qui v'le dit que ou t'es nan en t'aimant grand-père moi. You was at my grandfather's funeral. Is this correct or incorrect? You was at my grandfather's funeral. You was, qui v'le dit, ou t'es at my grandfather's, ou t'es nan t'aimant grand-père. You was at my grandfather's funeral. Is that correct or should I make a correction? Okay. Wiggins, Katia, let's see, Martilia, Winnell. Well, Winnell, you have to write something, right? Okay, guys, those of you guys that wrote, you went, liba bon, like liba gala, mbadi, you went, okay? The correct answer is, you were, upaka di, you was, okay? Now, although gyan pil moun ki dil, that doesn't mean it's correct, it's not. So the correct answer is you were, okay? Again. You, I was, you were, okay? He was, she was, it was, you were, we, you and I were, okay? And they were. So this is the correct answer. You were at my grandfather's funeral. Okay, now, were you at my birthday party? Was you at my birthday party? Were you at my birthday party? Okay, 
Now, guys, this is what I want you guys to understand. Look what I'm going to do carefully, okay? This is a statement, okay? Now, if I want to change this statement to a question, okay? Si je veux une phrase, je veux besoin de vivre comme une question, mais ça m'a fait, okay? Et qu'on s'allie pour tout verbe, yo. okay? Moi, je prends le premier ça, moi, je mets là et puis tout poser question. Were you at my grandfather's funeral? Qui voulait dire, est-ce que ou t'es en enterrement grand-père? Now, ou même qu'après, pour moi, ou abdim, yes, I was at your grandfather's funeral. Qui voulait dire, oui, moi, t'es en enterrement grand-père. Ok? Now, si vous voulez poser un lot moun, m'a dit qu'on sa que was um, Tanisha at my grandfather's funeral ou même qu'après répond pour Tanisha, ou a dit qu'on sa que yes, she was. OK, ou va dit she were, ou dit she was at your grandfather's funeral. OK? Now, were you? Yes, you were. OK? Next. Number 11, Andy is go to Texas next month, okay? Andy is go to Texas next month. Qui veut dire Andy, prale Texas lot moi. Andy is go to Texas next month. Is this correct or incorrect? Andy is go to Texas next month. So if you think this is incorrect, now you're going to write down the correct answer, guys. Andy is go to Texas next month. Very good. The correct answer is Andy is going. Ou déjà qu'on ne va pas dire is go. Ok, li pas bon. Moun ki mette es nan verb lan li pas bon tout. Ok, the correct answer is Andy is going to Texas next month. Ok, ki vle di ke Andy prale Texas lot moi. Ok? Very good. We're going to go over the statements one more time and listen carefully, okay? He finishes work at 5 p.m. Il finit travail à 5 p.m. I get up at 7.30 a.m. Moi levé à 7h30 du matin. Lucia wakes up at 7 a.m. Lucia levé à 7h du matin. Ethan goes to work at 5 a.m. Ethan allait travail à 5 heures du matin. You leave work at 5 p.m. Ou quitte travail à 5 heures p.m. Shana watches TV in the evening. OK? Qui veut dire que Shana gade télévision le soir. OK? Myrdalen teaches English online. Mildelin enseigne anglais online. Ok? Swing. Tartu likes running in the rain. Tartu reme kouri dans la pluie. Megan has been to Paris twice. Qui vle di Megan vin à Paris deux fois. You were at my grandfather's funeral. Ou te nan enterrement grand -père. Andy is going to Texas next month. Qui veut dire Andy pour aller Texas l'autre mois, ok? Now, I'm going to give you guys some vocabulary, ok? I'm not going to write them down on the board, ok? Now, we're working on listening. Je travaille pour attendre, ok? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spell out the word for you. I'm going to give you the meaning of the word. And I'm going to teach you how to use the word in, in a sentence, okay? Now, your job is to learn the word 
practice and find out what it means, okay? Number one, appease. A peas. A P P E A S E. A peas. Qui vle di fait la paix avec. Okay? It's to make peace with. A peas. A P P E A S E. Number two, candor. K N D or candor. C A N D O R. Candor. That means honest. Kible di o net. Okay, this person is kindor. This person is honest. Okay? Next. Next word, complacency. 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 C O M. P L A C E N C Y C O M P L A C E N C Y Okay C O M P L A C E N C Y. Okay? Ça veut dire satisfait tout. To satisfy yourself. Okay? Next word. Decry. Decry. Ou bien décrit. Jean un peu moun kon a dit. D E C R Y D E C R Y Now Ou même même sou pa fòn anglais a expect pou ka at least écrit moi OK Now pa di kon sa ou pa ka tande parce que m'ap spell li pou and i'm going to do my best to go very slow i'm not rushing you OK D E C R Y. Okay? D E C R Y. Ça veut dire que c'est les mon nan critique yon bagay comme pas bon. Okay? Lor critique yon bagay comme pas bon. Okay? Next word. Diligent. D diligent. D I L I G like George E N T. D I L I G E N T Okay That means précaution yon moun ki pran précaution ki travaille di diligent Okay someone that takes precaution and that is hard working all right Next word, eloquent, eloquent, E-L-O-Q-U-E-N-T, 
E L O Q U E N T Eloquent Michelle Obama is an eloquent person, okay? Yon moun ki eloquent, se yon moun ki kon kwa pou l'exprime tet li, okay? Now, there are certain people that have um, ways with words. Ge kek moun, de moment moun nan pale, moun nan bien pale, moun nan kon pale. So therefore, moun sa yo eloquent, okay? Next word. Embezzle. Embezzle. He embezzled ten thousand dollars from charity. The word embezzle ve di vole. Li vole dimi lola non charité. Embezzle. E M B E Z Z L E E M M B E B Z Z L E Zo M Bezo qui le dit vole ou bien fraud même bagala Next word empathy M Petit E M P A T H Y E M P A T H Y Okay, more empathy, you guys. Let me explain something, okay? I don't want you guys to confuse empathy with sympathy, okay? Sympathy, okay, the word sympathy, okay, c'est là que, ou, like, for example, um, ou comprenne moun nan, ou senti même gens ensemble avec moun nan, okay? Mon empathy, hein, ça vle di que ou ka content pour yon moun, but ça va vle di ou accepte sa moun nan fait. Let me give you a perfect example, okay? Now, sou gon moun ou ki mouri, okay? Ma pataje pen nan sa ma vo, I have sympathy for you. Ok, moi comprends douleur et moi senti douleur. Ok, that is sympathy. Tu veux dire sympathie? Ok, but mon empathie, hein? Par exemple, si on prend le marié, ok? The fact that what marié, moi content pour what marié. Mon what marié, est-ce que moi rien, moi rien, mais mon nom caparé, mais mon nom. But moi just content pour où? Qui veut dire que moi en partager joie en ce moment, mais moi pas accepter décision. C'est grande différence à qui gagne en empathy et sympathy. Sympathie, moi partager pour nous, moi comprendre nous, moi dans même bagarre ensemble avant. Empathie, yes, moi ca um, partager pour nous, mais ça va pas dire m'accepter dans même compréhension ensemble avant. OK, c'est différence à qui gagne en empathy et sympathy. OK? Next word. Fabricate Fabricate. F A B R I C A T E. F A B R I C A T E. Okay. Why you are fabricating the story? Okay. Now, qui ça mon fabricate l'envle dit? Fabricate la vle di son mensonge, ok? There are some people, yo reme, um, let me give you a perfect example. Yo mal arrive, j'en arrive, c'est pas comme ça yo dit arrive. Yo même yo retire mon son en vérité, ya. yo mette mon son en vérité, pa yo a qui se mensonge lan, et puis yo bo histoire comme ça. That's fabrication. Fabrication, c'est un bagay ke ou mélange, et pas comme ça bagay la te passe vwe, ok? That's fabrication, creating a story to make yourself look good. Fabricate, okay? Fabricate. Next word, okay? Fl, fl. Tade bien, je m'gale prononcer mot ça, okay? This is why I'm going very slow because I want you to hear it, okay? 
pour nous pas dire mal les la les n'a dit devant moi fleur gas fleur gas did flabber gas did flabber gas did okay flabber gas did f l a G. OK? Let me write this word down. But make real cuz my go feeling que même si me dit que quelqu'un nous cap bien wrong, OK? Flabber. OK? Flabbergasted. OK? Flabbergasted. F L A B B E R G like George A S T E D Ma prepete l'onko Flabbergasted F L A B B E R G a S T E D. Oh my God! I just found out that my neighbor passed away. I am flabbergasted. Qui v'le dit? Oh mon Dieu! Moi fait sortir que voisinage moi en mouri. Moi fait saisissement. That's what that word mean. Okay? Shock. Extremely shock. Okay? Saisissement. Flabbergasted. Okay, F L A B B E R G A S T E D. Okay, now I'm gonna give you another example. Okay, when Donald Trump became president, okay, many of you guys were flabbergasted. Okay, why not they flabbergasted? Possible que nous pas conseil d'abgain. Okay. Ça veut dire que le Donald Trump te vin président, en pile nan nous te saisi. Nous pas de consil d'ap gen élection, ok? Flabbergasted, alright? Next, comment se use li avec kek moun de yo, ok? Practice, start using these words. Ok, utilise l'ensemble avec zami nou. Mwen yevo yo al cheke Webster for change. Next word, ok? Gluttony. Glue, g, 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 l, t, n, i, g, l, u, t, t, o, n, y. Glutiny. Moi fais phrase avec lui, my friend. Où gagne pas de l'élément faire phrase yo. Glutiny. Ça veut dire que c'est un monde qui mange trop. Yon moun ki bwe twop. Ok? That's what it mean. Gluttony. Doing Thanksgiving. People will give in to gluttony. Ok? Gen an pil moun. Ok? Pendant sezon Thanksgiving nan pral rive ou bien an um, sezon holiday lan. Même si yon nan diet, yon pral manje an pil, yon pral bwe an pil. Ok? They will give in to gluttony. Sa vle di ke diet disparaît yo mange en pile yo boit en pile all right gluttony g l u t t o n y next impudent impudent i m p u d e n t he made an impudent remark to his mother. Okay? More impudent lan vle di ma led ve. Okay? He made an impudent remark to his mother. Sa vle di ke li fon remak ma led ve a maman. Okay? We gonna go over the pronunciation right now. Okay? Now, nou mem ki toujou ape kri e pa pronunciation moun di. Okay? Se pronunciation. Pronunciation. Okay? Number one. 
appease, to make peace with, to make la paix. Number two, Kendor, qui veut dire honnête. There's a lack of Kendor on Amy's condition, qui veut dire que il manque de vérité dans la condition Amy. Complacency. Complacency veut dire satisfait à tête. OK? You should not use this as an act of complacency toward the situation. Mba kwe ou, ou suppose utilize sa ta kou un ak pou satisfe tete ou nan situation sa. Decry ou bien decry. Ok? People often decry people who have tattoo. Ok? People often decry people who have tattoo. Sa vle di ke gen an pil moun, yon remen juje, yon remen kritike moun ki gen tattoo, ok? Kom ou mouve moun. Yon moun ka gen tattoo, but sa pa vle di moun nan mouve pou sa. Alright? That means that don't judge a book by its cover. Sa vle di ke pa juje liv lan sou kouvertul, ok? E kon sa yon di lan angle, pa juje moun nan sou kouvertul. Don't judge a book by its cover. Next, diligent, ok? I am very diligent. So di I am very diligent. Ça veut dire son moun ki travaille. Moi se yon moun ki pran précaution. I am diligent. Yes, I am. Next word. Eloquent. Michelle Obama is an eloquent speaker. Ki vle di ke Michelle Obama se yon moun le la pale li exprime te li bien. Li kon pale. Ok? Michelle Obama is an eloquent speaker. Speaker, yes, she is because she's very educated and she knows what she's talking about. Okay. Next word, embezzle. Okay, embezzle. He embezzled ten thousand dollar from the charity. He embezzled thousands of dollars from charity. Qui veut dire que lui vole dix mille dollars? Non charité, ok? Embezzle vle di vole, fraud. Mem bagay yo. Empathy. He showed empathy when I needed him. Ki vle di ke li moutre ke li te sensi pou mwen lem te bezwen, ok? Abilite pou kompren pataje sentiment yon moun. Ok? Fabricate. Fabricate. Ki vle di fabrique. He fabricate a story to keep his position. Ça veut dire que, ok, il fabrique histoire, y a une histoire pour quelqu'un de position, ok, pour quelqu'un de placé. Next word, flabbergasted, ok. I am flabbergasted because I found out my next door neighbor passed away last night. Ok, qui veut dire moi font saisissement oui. Moi tande que voisin ay mwen sou kote mwen nan mouri hier soir. God forbid, knock on wood. Sa vle di mwen de bon Dieu pardon. Mwen frape bwa twa fwa. Next. Gluttony. During Thanksgiving, people will give in to gluttony. Ok? The word gluttony vle di yon moun ki manje e ki bwe an pil. Gede moun nan, menm si vot li plen li sti la manje toujou. Menm si l bwe la bwe jiska se l vomi. That's gluttony, ok? Impudent, ok? He made an impudent remark toward his mother. Impudent vle di ma led ve, ok? Now, I want to take this time to thank each and every one of you guys tonight. If tonight is the first time you are watching me, my name is Myrdalyn Raymond. I want to thank you. If this is your second or third time, welcome again. We meet twice a week, every Mondays on YouTube and every Fridays on Facebook. If you have not subscribed on my YouTube channel, those of you guys that are on Facebook, go to YouTube, type my name, M-Y-R-D-E-L-I-N-E-R-A-Y. M-O-N-D. That's where you'll be able to subscribe with me. Now, ou mem ki ta ramen gen liv yo onko, se de liv ou 65 dola. 
ou karelem nan 6 17 4 19 53 81 que bon dieu nan béni ou que bon dieu nan gardé ou que bon dieu nan guidé ou que bon dieu nan fait ou ensemble avec ou ou même qui fini kou siene ou ou ta mon moun fè review pou passe bod lan mwen ka aide ou ou karelem sou même numéro ça ou besoin aide ensemble avec Titi NS mwen ka aide ou ou ta mwen al fè permis licence ou OK mwen ka aide ou OK now starting from next week commencer l'autre semaine ou même ka viv Boston OK mwen préparer pou pran 8 moun ki besoin al passer test conduit permis ou ou ka rele m sou même numéro ça 617 419 53 81 m ap pran nou step pa step step pa step jusqu'à ce que fini OK and also ou ta reme pran coup privé anglais ensemble avec m moi gen 3 places kounya ou ka rele m sou même numéro ça 617 419 53 81 que bon dieu m'en béni ou Thank you guys so much. I am humble. I don't know, guys. If you have any question, I can help you. So, gain question, moins qu'à aider. Qui ça tient en slayer, my dear? C'est moun qui travaille ensemble avec ti moun qui out of control. Okay. Now, pour même qu'à pas prendre DSS. Okay. Ou bon test ou si posé passé. Okay. Et test ça, moins qu'à aider. Et ça, il est dit. Okay. Mwen coupe la shorten it up. I don't know if you guys um have any questions before I leave. Mwen pa kon si nou gen question avan ke mwen kite. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. Let me make something real quick. Ok, bon di nou bol bien kout, ok? Now, esse e kompren mwen, ok? Si on moun e krim, ma prepon nou. Si on moun ou relem, ma pretoune apel ou. Men sou panse ke se betiz ou pral di ki pral koz mwen relo bak, I'm not gonna waste my time. Ok? Time is very valuable to me. Ki vle di ke mwen pa jwe a lem. Lem se yon bagay ki very valye pou mwen. Ok? Sou on moun ou reme di betiz ou ap ekri betiz ou bien tente nan inbox mwen, pa gaspye ton mwen pa po kipe ou. Si wap voye bagay ponografi sou inbox mwen, se ton wap gaspye, map just bloko in a story. Gon moun mwen bloke tres fwa deja. Moun sa etan kon persekisyon. Plus mwen bloke, plus li vini son lot fo paj. Ok? So, moun ki vreman interese pou yo apren nan sa mave, mwen interese nan sa mavo tou. Sa k pa interese yo, pa gaspye ton kez ou pa gaspye ton pa m kez mba menm gade an mesaj ou an menm. I'm a positive person. If someone write me, ok, le yon moun ekri, mpwe mye sa mfe. Si moun mwen ou bien msanti ke jon komanse ekrou la li, man ba mwen fin li res la, mwen just delete e vim bloko. End of story, ok? Ke bon dieu mnan beni ou, ke bon dieu mnan gido, thank you guys so much. Ou mwen ki tare mwen kase van tou, rele mwen sou nimero sa. Ou tare mwen desan, ou ka rele mwen sou mwen nimero sa. I will see you guys next Friday at 8 p.m on Facebook. Have a great night. God bless you guys. Bye-bye. Oh my God. Bon, back up on my Facebook. I'm stuck. Okay. All right. I'm done. No, I'm live. Oh. Uh oh. Okay.